everybody. So I am out on campus, ready to give you a full on tour of where I am living, ready to go. I chose the time when the students aren't out because I don't think it's the best to show them in the video without their parents' permission. They are minors, so I am just going to film it myself and don't mind my hair as it blows into my face. Beijing is very windy. Okay, so here I am outside a building. I don't really know what this building is. I think it's a library. Um, I have never actually gone inside it, so probably not a good place to start this video. But this is the main center of campus. I'm walking towards the main gate. Okay, so I am at the west gate of our campus. As you walk in, this is the statue that you'll see. These buses normally aren't here, but I don't know why they're here today. Behind me in just a second, you're gonna see the gate. We gotta keep those kids safe. That's a teacher coming in. They check everyone for an ID. So you have to have an ID to get on our campus. If you don't, you better be invited by a guest. Okay, so. If you turn right behind me, this is the international building. You would think that as I am an international teacher, that this is the building I would teach in. It's not. I am part of the national department at my school, which means I teach alongside other Chinese teachers. <laughs> it is not team teaching. It is not something where I teach and they teach in the same class. I just teach in the Chinese classrooms. That's what it means. I teach to the Chinese students who are going through the going abroad program. This means that maybe they are going to schools somewhere else, maybe in the US otherwise, but they are not going to continue their education in China past high school. I also teach level one oral English, which is just a basic spoken English course for the seventh graders, and then I teach a speech class for the eighth graders. Excuse me. Whew. In the Going Abroad program, I teach Senior Three Writing, which is the college writing course, which is prep for college. Like, I help them right now with their personal statement essays and college admission essays, and then we move on to creative writing. This is still the international building. It's pretty large. There are a lot of international teachers in my school. If you walk up those stairs, you'll head to the sports center with our Olympic sized swimming pool, our weight room, and I don't know what else is in there, but a lot of things. So we're gonna walk down the side of, oh, you can see students in the background. We're gonna walk down the side of the sports building. It's over here. There's the sports building. And I'm gonna take you to the library and the art building. So it all kind of connects into one large building. This is the art building. I don't know what these gentlemen are doing, but they're doing something. They're fixing glass panels, I think, is what they're doing. Anyway, so behind me, this is the art building. Um, some of our oral English classes are in this building. I personally don't have any in there, but my teammates do. So, also, I take a Chinese calligraphy class, which if you'd like to see that, give me a thumbs up and I will bring you along to Chinese calligraphy class. I'm not very good, but I'm trying. Um, and it's a lot of fun. It's just a cool way to engage in Chinese culture and learn something new. So, yeah. So this is still the art building behind me. It's a pretty large building. We've got some Chinese learning cottages. Um, I don't know what classes are in there. I think it's French, maybe German. Um, I don't teach in them, so I don't really know. Alongside the art building, we have our rock climbing wall. I have not tried it yet. A little scared of heights. So, if you keep up with me on Facebook or Instagram, you'll recognize this location. 
This is where we have our English club parties. We throw a party once a month for our students. Everybody's invited, they can come if they want. We have food, we have games. Just another way to get them excited about learning English. Okay, and now this building transitions once again, not stopping, into the library. Um, it's where kids go to study. There's a nice cafeteria in there. There's pretty good coffee in there. By pretty good, I mean Chinese coffee that is passable. I do not mean Starbucks. <laughs> we have a Starbucks close to the school, but that's not it. Okay. Also, if you lose your ID card, you can go in there and get a new one. Not that I know that from experience. I'm pretty sure it fell out on the subway. I don't know though. I don't know where it is. <sighs> okay, so as you keep walking, there's a really nice garden area that we're about to enter. I'll try and give you a 360 of it. It's really nice. There's a lot of little paths back there that kids can go study or just um, we're about to walk by this pagoda and there's a teacher out there having class. They let us do that. It's still nice enough outside that we can. Yes, I'm in a jacket, but it's not freezing. So, you know, so. Have you guys ever seen a picture of like Adams? So you like, you see one of those pictures where you get to see like all the little- blocks. Teaching away. Okay, and as we pass by that, then we get to the buildings where I actually teach. So the garden area moves in to another little walkway. And I'll take you through this um, into the art, humanitation, humanitarian, and technology building. I don't know, the name is complicated. Technology and humanities building. I don't know, but it's a pretty nice building. It's where I teach my senior writing class. Seniors have a lot of classes in this building. And so that's where I teach. Also, I wanna let you know, a lot of the students here speak English, as in all of them. And so as I pass by the students who are doing classwork or on a study break period, they are staring at me <laughs> like I'm crazy. Um, that's just part of carrying camera around and filming yourself, I guess, but it's worth it. So we're still walking through the garden. It's kind of like an atrium. The building is around me and I'm just gonna walk through the bottom hallway. I'm not gonna walk to my classroom because somebody is having class in there. But this is the building. All of the buildings, gotta wait till I get outside. All of the buildings have like clap lights. They turn on with a lot of noise and just another way to conserve energy here in China. So as I leave this building, the students are staring at me. <laughs> um, I come between another two. So this side is the junior building. And that side is the senior building. The junior building is for junior high, 7th through ninth grade, and the senior building is 10th through 12th grade. I do not teach in the senior building, but my office is in the senior building. So, that's where I teach. But I do teach in the junior building. I teach six classes in the junior building. My 7th grade and my 8th grade classes. It, they're all pretty nice buildings. They have heat, they have AC, which I know may seem like, is that not normal? No. It's not normal. So, there you go. I take you to see the office, but there's no one in there right now. I'm coming back around the corner. It's a humanitarian building. Um, and then you come across a dormitory building right here. And then behind it is my building where I live. But I'm not gonna take you in there. I'm just gonna show you to our track and field. I think I dropped something. So we're heading towards the track and field. And 
Um, this is where the kids have PE class. This is where they burn off a lot of extra energy. Um, they play soccer games. There are basketball courts. They run around the track. All of that good stuff. playground because I guess that's what it translates to in English like from the Chinese word but it's not actually playground it is a track and field so you know to each their own we teach them that it's actually called a track and field no worries people we're helping their English learning and that's pretty much the whole campus um, I'm glad you could come along this journey with me. Um, I know it's kind of hard to visualize what I'm living in and talking about on the daily without a tour, so this is your official tour. Um, I am loving life here. It is so fun. I definitely miss all my people back home. Um, that's one of the harder parts about living far away is that I'm so excited about being here and I'm so happy to be here and I feel so content with being here. But I also miss my parents and my brothers and my sister and my brother-in-law and my friends and my community back home. So um, there are days when I'm not so smiley and happy and I'm just crying because I miss you guys. But it's really awesome that I get to share my life with you uh, through videos. I love that. And one of the things I do when I'm having a sad moment is I try and make videos. Um, I know I've been a little bit hectic about showing videos on the regular. I'm trying to get better at that, trying to get into a routine here and be able to show you what life is like. So if you like this video, put a thumbs up down below, subscribe, hit the notifications bell, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Jen.